POC Network here at CES 2023. We are inside the Z-Wave booth, and this is Silicon Labs behind me, a familiar name in the Z-Wave industry, Correct. obviously, and the smart home industry just all together. Uh, this is Claudio here, uh, and what we have sitting behind us is something cool. Uh, now, this isn't something that the consumers really going to buy. This is, uh, it's, they are, but right. uh, on a different level, because your target is actually some of the other companies. It's uh, putting your software into their technology Correct. to help solve a, I don't want to say a crisis, but a situation we're going to face now that matters coming out into the market. A Correct. lot of us, like 80% of my house is Z-Wave, and matters exciting. I want to integrate some of that in there too, but I'm not going to start replacing all of these devices I've been spending all this time buying into. That's right. Your software is seeking to solve that by bridging these two together. That is correct. Yeah, so I mean, if you think about Z-Wave, like, like yourself, me too, I have gazillions of like Z-Wave devices. Uh, not only Z-Wave, Zigbee, or, or maybe BLE Mash, and a lot of people are asking, okay, so now Matter is out, what happens to my devices, right? So that, that's a question that we, as a silicone provider, we hear a lot. So we put our heads down and, and we came up with a software that we call Unify SDK that allows you to connect multiple different devices and make them look like matter, right? So we have developed, it's a piece of software that you as a, um, uh, like you said, a, a business to business, or if you're developing a gateway or a controller, you can integrate to your hub and then will allow you to bring in all those devices that are out there today using Z-Wave and make them look like matter. And uh, the what that entails is the fact that Maybe you can use your Google Home uh, device or your Android device and control those Zigbee devices as if they were Matter devices. Exactly, so now you have everything working together Correct. and uh, and it's, I won't mention any comp competing names, but there are some hubs out there that are really good with integrations uh, that kind of do that. It's just like a, it just kind of brings everybody together so it just looks like it's all in the same ecosystem. That's right. And but and that's something we need, you know, because Matter really is going to be a big deal now that so many companies are behind it, you know, and it's something that the companies like your own has to really consider, and you are, uh, which is nice because so far in the Zebra because I've had the question myself right. with all the Z-Wave questions uh, or Z-Wave devices that I have. I'm like, how am I going to integrate all these? You know, uh, I'm using Vera, I'm using Home Assistant. I'm like, it doesn't start getting complicated if I'm start jumping between all these bridges. Right. But if one device seriously does something like Home Assistant, just brings everything together, and I'm still able to use my Z-Wave network as a Z-Wave network right. while still being able to make use of, of of Matter, that's a big deal. No, absolutely. And and I think the goal for us as Silicon Labs is not really to choose one technology over the other. It's really to enable our customers to, to take the bass out of their devices. Yeah, smart right? home. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a smart so, home that works. Yeah, and, and there are some technologies that are more well adapted. So Z-Wave is very prominent on the security environment. So most of the security sensors out there use Z-Wave. And we have some other applications where you see a little bit more Zigbee devices like light bulbs and things like that. So I think having a piece of software or solution like that uh, in hand allow our customers to maximize their experience and having not not having to think much. Oh, well, if I buy this particular device, would that work with my hub? Right. So the yeah. idea is to make life easier, and the easier life gets, I believe the adoption of IoT will will, will increase. And that that that's our goal. It's really to make our customers' lives easy and basically that they can buy more devices and they can make their houses smarter. Absolutely. So uh, in terms of the avail availability for this, for some of the, the partner companies out there, are, is this already actively being pushed out to them? It's already finished, it's done, it's it's ready and tested? And yeah, absolutely. So um, in the past, and besides the fact that we're doing this matter integration, uh, like, like a couple of years ago, if you would develop a Z-Wave uh, gateway by itself, we had a piece of software that we call Zip Gateway. Okay. Same thing for Zigbee. We had our, our Zigbee Gateway software, and they were not necessarily talking the same language. It, they had, you know, its own structure. They were based like like our uh, Z-Wave Gateway was a C-based uh, piece of software, and then Zip Gateway was a mix of like Java with C. And now we developed this structure that uses MQTT on the back end, making it much easier. No matter which protocol you're using underneath the hood because it, it basically looks like everything, no matter which protocol you're using, everything looks like the same. So you're, you're not seeing a Z-Wave device, you're seeing a light bulb. 
yeah. or you're seeing a uh, like a plug like what we're showing here. So and that allowed us to make this transition to matter much easier because now everything kind of looks like the same. So, so we're going to start seeing this really shortly in some of these devices. Now, uh, if you're, you know, if if our, you know, any of our viewers are watching this and they want to learn more about this, obviously they're going to want to go to Silicon Labs website. Correct. And then, of course, if you're a manufacturer, that you might be interested in, you know, taking advantage of something like this to be able to join in on this and uh, take advantage of this, of this in your devices and your hubs, like let's say Schlag or SwitchBot, just to name a few, uh, you know. Obviously, go check out Silicon Labs. Uh, reach out to Claudio here. He knows a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he can help you out. Because uh, this is exciting. We need this. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And, and um, the, the nice thing about this is we have this in our GitHub. Uh, a lot of like our new software is using open source. So even if your users are curious and they want to play with it, uh, they, they can as users as well. So Perfect. Yeah. All right, so there's a lot of, uh, really, uh, a lot of flexibility in there for anybody to jump in. So, and, and uh, I'm going to assume you have all like dev kits or anything else for people to really get their hands wet online? Absolutely, absolutely. It's all available. The hardware kits can be acquired in our website or they can go to some of our distributors like DigiKey and others. And again, software, we, we do a lot in GitHub, but we also have our own uh, development structure called Simplicity Studio where they can download the SDKs and they can plug in their our boards and they should have a pretty easy experience to get what they need. Perfect, well there you go. Go check him out at Silicon Labs. This is exciting. I'm really happy to see that Z-Wave is strong as usual and uh, still stomping forward and playing nicely with everybody else. So go check out Silicon Labs website. Claudio, thank you so much. Yep. It's it was great to see nice this. Nice talking to you. Yeah, and not surprising coming from Silicon Labs. This is great. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.